we go back to a couple of the companies that you've built, mm -hmm. they've gone through these major retrenchments. Yeah. DoubleClick, I think, went from well over 1,000 people down to 700. From 2,000 right. people down to 1,000 people. So it got cut in half. Yeah. I mean, how do you do that? You've been the evangelist. You've persuaded 2,000 people to join yeah. your cause. It's very tough. And it's, it's even easier if you just got rid of 1,000 people one day because then you're done with. What was even harder is that we got rid of you know, 250, and then another 250, and then another 250, and then another 250. And so keeping morale with people remaining is very, very difficult. So you've got to just be out there with people, do the best you can, be perceived to be as honest as possible. Uh, but even so, a lot of people were fundamentally unhappy. And probably more people would have left if they could have found jobs elsewhere. But it was a terrible time, so they, they stayed. And everything turned around, and it stabilized, and ultimately we had a great business. And fair to say that if you are an entrepreneur who intends to not just have the idea and the incubation of the company, but wants to grow it to a big successful level like that, that you simply have to be able to do that. that yeah. That's a core competency. It, it is a core competency. It's really about evaluating talent. I mean, if, I, if you and I started talking about the New York Knicks, you know, it, you'd say, look, they're not gonna be good unless they get some better players. Just that is what it is. And everyone says, yeah, you're right. Well, a company is like that too. You know, you've got to look around the table and say, look, do we have the best people? And can we get better people? And what if you have a good person? Is it okay to say, you know, I'm sorry, I need somebody great, goodbye, even though I like you? Yeah, yeah, you've got to have the best people out there. So now, it, you're taking a risk when you change, so you've got to be pretty confident. But uh, I always look around and think, uh, is there someone out there who could do a better job? If you don't do that, you're going to end up with B players, and ultimately your company will do badly. And look, we've seen it in the internet space, lots of companies who were going along eventually went under, and everyone lost their job. And so that's what you should keep in the back of your mind as CEO. That's the ultimate failure.